a 360 approach to an NFT project. Okay, everyone's disappeared. That's always fun. <laughs> Um, I brought in the crowd and now everybody's leaving. Okay, perfect. Well, um, hi everyone, my name's Amrita. And for those of you who don't know me, um, yeah, I'm the first NFT artist here. Um, I'm extremely um, excited off the back of that panel just to be talking about how um, NFTs have actually, can actually do more than just, you know, bring community utility or make people lots of money. It's the idea of that is how we can unlock so much creativity through NFTs. So I actually currently launched my recent collection. Um, it's called the Alpha Bytes. And actually to introduce the concept, um, I'm gonna actually play a video. Um, but I've, alongside the Alpha Bytes, what I did is I created the world's first physically fractionalized um, NFT augmented reality sculpture. And all that really means is I took the digital to the physical, and I reverse the meta reverse. So basically, I'm just going to play a video now. You're going to, we're good to go. Um, and this will hopefully give you a bit of an introduction as to what I created. <laughs> Reverse. For somebody who's lived in so many different countries, I don't actually speak so many different languages. So because I can do anything that I want with NFTs and the metaverse, I've decided to create my own language. So I took the alphabet, I reimagined it for Web 3.0, and then I layered on top of it my sound bites to actually create the alpha bites. So the first word I wanted to actually create was a specific word for Art Dubai with Mora Collective. Art Dubai has an NFT section this year. And when you go to an NFT section, you expect to see screens and digital art. So what I wanted to do is reverse that and go from the digital world to the physical world. In a way, reversing it. So the first word from my collection of the alphabites is the word meta-reversed. So one of the great advantages of NFTs or one of the USPs of NFTs is that you can take a physical asset and you can effectively fractionalize it by having multiple NFTs. So when I created my sculpture, I thought, yes, I'm going to create an NFT collection with multiple different NFTs and fractionalize the physical one. But I thought, why not go one step further and actually fractionalize the physical sculpture itself? The sculpture is made out of slices of aluminium that I've dipped and treated in gold, silver, and copper finishing. And they are effectively 144 detachable layers and the 145th is the base layer of the uh, artwork and that's stuck onto a stainless steel canvas. So I fractionalized the sculpture into 145 physical pieces but when you buy the NFT you don't know which one you're going to get so you might get one of the smaller pieces or you might get one of the larger pieces or you might be the lucky one to actually get the full sculpture. But don't be disappointed if you get a small piece, because if you know anything about rarity and scarcity, you'll see that some of the smaller pieces actually have less of them. So they're more rare and more scarce, which actually makes them more valuable. But the large ones are beautiful, and there's a really beautiful chunkiness to them that has a real presence when you do own them. The most amazing thing as well about the sculpture is that the layers and the height of the stacks of the aluminium represents the peaks and troughs of the sound wave. So when there's a peak of the sound wave, for example, when you scope met on the meta, the peak goes up. So you can see the M has got a higher stack. So the first one of the Mobius circle has got a higher stack. The dot is, the, is E in Morse code, and the sound wave goes down at that point. 
So you've got a smaller stack and the, the actual shape as well is actually smaller. So the height and the size of the symbols represents the height, the peak and the trough of the sound wave. When you come down to the horizontal view, you can actually see the ups and downs of the sound wave. If you look really closely as well, it actually looks like a cityscape, which is a hark back to my original collection that I did of cities such as Dubai and London. That's not enough by going from the digital to the physical. I've taken it back to the digital through the NFTs, but also by layering augmented reality. When you scan a QR code, that activates the augmented reality. You scan it and you place it across the image of the word meta reversed and the story gets told. First, the voice note and the sound wave comes up of me saying the word meta reversed. The images then come up to then showcase the actual artwork. And then, like magic, it then decodes it back into English. So it takes my Alphabytes language back into English so everyone can understand it. There's the generative NFTs, the sculpture that's fractionalized, the augmented reality led on top of it. But what I wanted to do was showcase all of the different facets that NFTs can show. Because I feel that NFTs, everybody talks just about um, you know, the money aspect of it. For me, NFTs unlock so much creativity and there's so many different ways in which you can approach it. And I wanted to put all of that in one piece. So now we've gone from the meta reversed and I'm gonna take you into the metaverse. So I've got a piece of land in Decentraland. It's next to Frankie's Tavern. It's minus 66, minus 113 in terms of coordinates. So I've also created a digital hoodie for your avatar to wear in Decentraland. I've also created this Abaya, which when you activate the NFC chip, this will also turn into augmented reality. And you'll also be able to find that in the metaverse as an Abaya as well. So we've gone from the digital world to the physical as a sculpture, back to the digital world through augmented reality and into the dimension of the metaverse, wearing your own clothes. And this is what I want people to see, is that you can create so many different aspects to NFTs and you can be as innovative and as creative as you like. The only thing that's stopping you is your imagination. Meta reversed. Okay, guys, so... so yeah, so thank you, guys. So that's been uh, my latest project, and as you can see, it really touches all aspects of it. The only thing now I'm missing, which is what I was talking to Morton about, is to actually make it into a game or we can create some more new clothing line with Marco. Um, I'm also extremely, I mean, actually, this is going, um, it's currently on being whitelisted at the moment. There's a pri private uh, sale happening on Sunday. And one of the biggest compliments that I've got from this collection, other than the fact that Morton's on the whitelist, um, is that um, uh, one of the top collectors in the US, which is a guy called Pablo Fraley, he collects Beeple's work, he collects Pac's work, he collects Rafiq's work. Um, I've been on a WhatsApp group from a, for a while, and he's seen this collection, and he just loves it. He's already pre-ordered 12 pieces, um, and I think his biggest, the biggest compliment that I got is that it's the most comprehensive, most well-rounded NFT project that he's seen. And I think what I just wanted to do with this was actually show that you can take it in so many different ways. People see NFTs at the moment just as JPEGs. I'm trying to get people to interact with it from a physical perspective, from a digital perspective, um, a collector's perspective, because a lot of people, this was showcased at Art Dubai. A lot of people who came to Art Dubai have, don't have an NFT. So this way, they are buying it because they actually wanted the physical slice of the, of the sculpture, whereas the NFT was just like the bonus or their first attempt to get into the NFT space. Um, so yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to kind of give you a brief idea about what I've done. 
Um, this is actually, if you head to thealphabytes.com, you can come and check me out. And it's also, what I like about it is just being able to create a whole new language, right? And I'm hoping that my new language might become the language of the metaverse. Okay, guys, it's been a, been a, been a laugh. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, have a great day in the rest of the IABC conference. <laughs>